Now, we as people who enjoy the things of technology, you know, we use computers that are running Windows, we use computers that are running Mac OS, but there's this one small little country that has gone their own way. They're not bowing the knee to the trends of Microsoft and Apple. No, they, they, they're using this different operating system. It is a Linux operating system and it's called Red Star. Now, what is Red Star? Well, Red Star OS is an operating system that is used in North Korea. Yes, North Korea, that small hermit country that is so secretive. People don't know much about what's going on there. The leader, who knows? We don't really know much about that place. It's definitely a strange country. And there's information that is controlled. Only certain things can come in and not a lot comes out. And a lot of people think, hey, look, do they even use computers in North Korea? Is there some sort of a technology infrastructure in place? Well, of course there is. I mean, they're running businesses out there. They're running companies. Uh, we don't know much about them, but they're running computer operating systems. They're running servers. They're running other network equipment. And the operating system that they're using, as I said, is called Red Star. Now, the version that is available right now is Red Star 3. There is a Red Star 4 coming. We don't really know much about it, but you'll find that generally what people say anyway is that version 1 is still the most widely used version of Red Star out there. The main browser on our Red Star here is Nayanara, which essentially is like a little Firefox version. And it comes with two search engines to be able to browse the country's own private internet. Because of course, North Korea is very closed. We don't know what's going on over there, but they don't also know what's going on over here. So they have restricted all of this, so you can only see what they want you to see. Yes, you can download the operating system used by the Hermit Kingdom. So I'm gonna actually go and get it onto a USB stick. I'm gonna download it, boot it onto a USB stick, get it running. Let's actually see what North Koreans use as their primary computing operating system. Now, I run a tech channel. Thank you for joining me. I release videos every single week and you're probably not subscribed if you're new. Even if you're a regular, you're probably also not subscribed because a lot of you are not. So why don't you click on that button and on the bell to subscribe. I release videos every week on tech and I know that you'll love them. So from the Google machine, you want to look for Red Star OS and here it is. We're going to go and click on that first option right there. You then go and actually select the ISO to actually download from the right hand side. The ISO will then download. We now want to go and install Rufus. Download Rufus from their primary website. Here it is, download it. We then open it and we actually install Rufus directly onto our computer. With Rufus open, you now wanna make sure that you've got a USB stick connected into your computer. Go and select the ISO that we've just downloaded, making sure that all the settings look very similar to what we've got right here. Now your actual USB stick is gonna be completely formatted for then you to be able to plug that into your computer and boot from it. So here is the Red Star ISO booted. Uh, now we are doing this within a virtual machine. Uh, we're doing this on our VMware environment. It's actually building it as a VM. If you're running this on your computer, you're gonna be seeing something similar to this. If you haven't seen anything like this, then it could be because uh, the media is corrupted or the ISO creation wasn't right. But um, here you go, it's all in Korean. Now I'm gonna sort of work my way through it and I'm sure we can figure out how to actually go and install it and then show you what it actually looks like. So uh, we're gonna click on, I'm assuming this is clicking on next bit of a loading screen here. Okay, here's the hard drive. So I've actually got a 15 gig hard drive. So I can select that hard drive right there. And I'm gonna assume that this says next or following steps. Uh, I think this is gonna be asking me for my username. So I'm gonna say the North. And I'm assuming this is a password area. Let's just leave that blank and next. Okay, so what's this area here? Okay, so DHCP. So it's probably asking me here for an IP address. It's asking me for a static or an IP uh, that is gonna be assigned via DHCP. We're gonna say DHCP, I'm clicking on next. Oh, where are you located? How's that? You can actually put a different location. Now, uh, we are in North Korea, of course, aren't we? Because that's where we are, but how's that? You can actually pick other places, which is very odd. The time, now this is very, very Mac already. This is very, very Mac, but you can put in your date, the time. It's an ISO, it's gonna be loaded onto our hard drive. If you speak Korean, why don't you let us know what this is all saying? And look, the installation is now going ahead. Looks like it's all working. And here you have it. Everything's in Korean, but straight away, I mean, look at this. This is the Mac dock. Here is our little Apple logo. 
is this going to be? Wow, look at that. About this. About this Mac. Wow, this is literally a ripoff of the Mac from what I can see so far. There's your system preferences. This is how you access all your settings. Let's see what we can change in here. Uh, okay, so this is like your spaces. We can create sort of different sort of spaces. Uh, oh, the size of the dock. Whether you want little effect. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That is a ripoff of the Mac. What's this one? What can you do here? Okay, this is where you can set some of your backgrounds. So you change the background. There you go. Minimize. Very nice. Is that in North Korea? Don't really know. Uh, interesting. What else can we do in here? CD, DVD stuff. Uh, what's this lightning bolt? I don't know what that is. Change the resolution. There we go. Of your screen. Get some music settings or the sound, the sound settings, printer settings, etc. So there's some actually, it's very, very Mac. It's literally laid out so similar. This is the area where you can change your um, sharing permissions. So you can create sharing against different folders. Here we got our network. Okay, so here is my network. It's already identified my network. DHCP, it's picked up an, an IP address. And then you got your startup disk, your users. You can create a new user in there. And then the actual location where you are. Of course, we're based in North Korea, so we say. How's that? Look at that. It, I mean, it looks, it's it's like a ripoff. It's a complete ripoff. Here you got the finders. already found some of my um, areas right here. My local host, my red star. What is this one? I'm assuming this is a web browser, I would think. Why is it not opening? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh, thinking about something. Oh, is, what is this? What is this? Oh, hello. Something's happened there. Oh, I think I clicked it too many times. But there is our browser. Can I actually go to a particular website? I mean, is this is this uh, gonna work? I really don't know. Can if I go to Google? Oh, well, of course I'm typing in a wrong language, but I mean, is this even worrying? It's called Nayanara Browser. There it is. There's the browser. I'm assuming this is like the little search engine, and you're probably going to be limited here to seeing what they want you to see. But that's preferences, I would say. And there you go. You can change some of the preferences. And this is pretty much looks like a ripoff of uh, of Safari. Not too different to Safari or even Chrome. And you can tell that I can sort of navigate through this quite easily because it's very, very similar. What's this one here? Okay, the video player. Here's your calendar. Nice. Let's see what's going on. PDF calculator. There's your calculator. And back to our system preferences there. And the bin or the trash. Definitely do have myself an internet connection. So why can't I actually go and surf anything on the internet is the other question. I mean, I don't know where this is trying to, I don't know where this is trying to take me. What about the clock? Oh, there we go. I can change from digital to analog. What's this one down here? Oh, the region again. Now I know there is a way to actually change the language. Unfortunately, I can't do it through here, but um, there is some terminal commands that you can run to actually get the language changed. So you may want to go and do that if you're playing around. But hey, look at that. I mean, is that the flag? Because you can't actually click on that. It's weirdly, you can't actually click on this thing that looks like the flag. Um, everything else seems to be working just swimmingly. Got some other apps. What's this one here? Hmm. Anybody know what that says? I sure don't. Ah, oh, here you go. This looks like Office. Go. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. There's a word editor. Let's just go back in there. They definitely look like a uh, some sort of a word editor or a text editor. There's a spreadsheet. Yep. Looks looks quite spreadsheety. You got PDFs. What's this one? Oh, okay. This is your oops. Oh, an error message. Don't know where that came up. But this looks like a address book. You know, if you want to keep track of all of your friends and family in North Korea, those that you can see anyway. What's this thing? No idea what I just clicked on. 
Whoa. Oh, what? That's fascinating. Any musicians on this channel? You actually go and write your own music. I mean, that's pretty cool. That is quite cool indeed. That is sort of built in. I mean, why did they want to do that? Fascinating that they actually added that by default as uh, an app. Uh, what's this one here? Uh, I don't know what this is. Let's just see what else have we got here. Uh, this is like a... What am I doing here? Okay, this is the finder. Okay, that's the finder icon. I don't know what this is. I really don't know what that is. But, um, okay, this is for pictures. Here you go. This is for pictures. But it's not really playing very well. What's this one? Ah, okay, the fonts. So I can change the fonts. On my red star. This is great. Stickies. They're like the stickies on the Mac. So I'm assuming I can go and create another sticky. Is that going to be that button? Oh, there we go. Create another sticky. Can I change the color? Yes, I can. Look at that. Look at that. It is just like on the Mac. Uh, how do I shut down? I'm assuming here. We're going to click on that one. Uh, that one. There you go. Whew. So now we know a little bit more about North Korea, about this kingdom and what sort of computing systems that they are running. Thank you for tuning in. Click on that bell as well so you actually get told when things get released. And stay tuned for the next video as we continue to talk about all things tech. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.